Welcome to another lesson by YourTechnician.com and this is Denise Robinson. Today I'm going to teach you a little of Windows 10 using Office 2016. It is Office 365. I do like a version on my hard drive. So let's go ahead and get into Word. Uh, as most of you know, you hit that start key and it will take you to any place in the world. So let's head off to Word right now. Search box edit. The O R Word D Word 2016. Desktop editor. I will slow down my keystrokes uh, so you can hear the whole version of what is occurring. I will also be using my control key to hush up JAWS so I can actually give you direction on what's occurring. So when you get into Word, you actually get into a grid view. Blank document happens to be the first document. Sometimes talking software tells you that, sometimes it doesn't. So it's uh, just a walk of faith. I always tell my students, never give up when it opens and JAWS does not say anything. Insert tab always tells you exactly where you're at. So let's go ahead and just do an insert tab. And document grid, navigate with left and right, up and down arrow keys, L. Okay, and then of course he will tell you about uh, more movements. So up and down grid, you're basically in a business grid, and I'll show you how you actually know that. This grid will change depending on the option that you are in. I will also show you what I'm talking about with the option. So off to the left hand side, and the reason why I'm giving you actual visual setup is because if you understand whether something is to the left, the right, the top, or the bottom, it actually gives you the key command that you wanna use. So we're going to tab and I'm going to go to the tree view. Here's all your most recent documents. Now, before I leave blank document, I basically like to open and utilize blank document because I want to take complete control over the size and the font and borders and color and everything else. Now you can experiment going into any of these templates and open them. It's all a matter of choice. Okay, so let's go ahead and tab, and we are now moving out of the grid view into your tree view, so to speak. Tab, recent, JAWS license numbers, list box, <laughs> JAWS license numbers, one of one, JAWS license. Okay, so now I can up and down arrow in my most recent documents, of which I will do. PPT to li PPT list password info list PPT PPT JAWS license and numbers list. I'm just list. gonna go back up. So I can go all the way down, and you can go all the way down to open other documents, if you so choose. But I'm going to continue to tab around this uh, huge option dialog box. So let's go ahead and continue to tab around. Tab, PPT2, list box, PPT2. Oh yeah, that's another one. thing. Tab does the same thing as arrow in tree view. Don't we love that? Okay, to save time, let's go ahead and go back. So I'm going to shift tab. Shift tab, just shift tab, blank document okay. grid, navigate with left and right, up so and down arrow of key, L. Through, absolutely, every single one of my most recent documents, I'm going to shift tab and we're going to go to the right. So here we go, shift tab again. Shift tab, switch account grid, navigate with. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, if you uh, s hook this up with a Microsoft account, it is very nice because you immediately hook to a cloud, it immediately saves in the cloud, so you don't have to ha clog up your hard drive. So I'm just gonna say it's a nice option. Once again, it's just a choice. Shift tab again. Shift tab, business grid, navigate with left and right, up and down arrow key. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the business grid. That blank document starts out in the business grid, but you hit enter on blank document and you can make it anything that you want. So if I right arrow through here, personal grid, navigate with left and right up. If I hit enter on this personal link, the grid view changes, of course, to match the personal. Now I will tell you, uh, some of these designs are very nice. You know, you're talking about anniversaries and birthdays and all sorts of other really cool options. So I highly suggest hitting enter on that and go ahead and navigate around your grid view and take a look at what the options are, hit enter, open. And then of course, because they are so visual, you'll have to have a sighted person come up behind you and say, oh yeah, that's really cool or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep going through all your options. Industry grid, navigate with left and right. Okay. Open. So the same thing, if you hit enter on this, your grid view will change. Now the grid view has not changed. It's still business grid view. Okay, let's continue. 
Print grid, navigate, design set script, education, event grid, business grid, okay. navigate with left and back to business. Now we're going to continue to tab and, or shift tab, and when we do, we'll actually do search for online templates. So it's an endless array of what you would want. I highly suggest just sticking to what there is now, get comfortable with that, and then of course go out and explore the wider range. Let's go ahead and shift tab. Shift tab, start searching button to activate, press space bar. G. There's the start search button. You want to go into the edit box. Shift tab, search for online templates edit. And of course you can type anything in there and pull up, like I said, a myriad of everything else. Shift tab again. Shift tab, recent, open other documents. And we're back to our recent, it is a tree view. You go up and down arrow, you hit enter on that and it immediately opens the document. Let's go ahead and continue to shift tab. Shift tab, window eyes dash dash saving for one of shift tab, keep keep shift. And here's gonna be the problem is I have to shift tab shift for all tab, these blank document grid. Okay, so now I'm back to blank document. I'm gonna hit enter and open. Document one dash word, print edit. Okay. So now I am in uh, Word. Now this is very, it should feel very familiar uh, with Office 2013 and 10. However, they have changed some components here. So the first thing I always suggest to people is get up into that ribbon and listen to your options. To get up into any menu, you just hit your Alt key and then listen to the hotkeys that are up there. So Alt. Upper ribbon, home tab, to change ribbons, use left or right arrows to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab, alt followed by H. Okay, so once again, it tells you alt H. What you must realize is alt H is not at the start. File is, it still is. So if I left arrow, I'm actually going to start off on the first tab in this menu. So I'm going to left arrow. Leaving menus, file tab button to activate, press space bar, alt followed by F. So now I'm on the file tab, and if I hit enter on that, it will open, and I can tab through the whole ribbon. There are thousands of commands here. So we're just going to go over the basic navigation right now. So let's go ahead and right arrow. Upper ribbon, home tab, to change ribbons, use left or right arrows to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab, alt followed by H. Okay, what's so nice is just tells you the hotkey to uh, access all of these. So I'm just going to quickly right arrow through all of your options. You on your own can listen to the hotkey. Uh, and there's going to be ones that you go back to constantly. File, alt F is going to be one, alt H to home, alt N for insert. Those are big ones. The other ones you're going to use quite often, just not as much as file, home, and insert. Let's go ahead and continue. Insert tab, the check design tab, layout tab, the references tab, mailings tab, review tab, view tab, the add dash ins tab, leaving menus. Tell me what you want to do edit. Now tell me what you want to do is linked to Cortana. So if it's a lot like Siri, you basically speak and Cortana does what you want her to do. So now I'm going to hit escape twice to get out of my menu bar. Escape, escape. Okay, and I always suggest hitting twice, even though sometimes, depending on where you're at, escape once works. But to be for sure, uh, go ahead and just hit it twice and get out. So uh, that is basic navigation in order to get into Word. More lessons to come on more advanced skills as you move along.